Tram tracks uncovered in the CBD have renewed debate over whether Brisbane should have its own light rail system. Tourism bosses think so, so does a group dedicated to bringing them back. But so far, not the people who really count, as Sarah Greenolch explains. Under the bustle of modern-day Brisbane, an insight into the city of old, tram tracks resurrected after 45 years. It happens every now and then when the bitumen wears off the, uh, the tracks and people uh, have their memories restored somewhat and they begin to harker back to the old days. Trams ruled the city's streets before the system was shut down in 1969. Now tourism bosses are leading the push to get them back on track. It does work. It works in many places around the world, in Australia as well, and I think it's worth looking at. It's certainly not the first time the idea has been floated, with several failed proposals over the years, including Briz trams in the late 90s. We will have 3,000 jobs um, online during the construction period. Throughout it all, a team of tram-loving volunteers has kept the dream alive. At the Tramway Museum in Fernie Grove, dozens of original machines have been restored to their former glory, ensuring history is preserved. <laughs> But even if there was a tram revival in Brisbane, chances are they wouldn't be quite as charming as this one. Built back in 1936, it ferried passengers around the city for more than 30 years until it was scrapped. The Lord Mayor has ruled out a resurgence, but people like Keith Tidy, who rode trams to school, aren't giving up hope. I wish they'd come back. Maybe one day. Sarah Greenolch, 10 Eyewitness News.